Wise men and women in every major culture throughout history have found that the secret to happiness is not in getting more, but in wanting less. The number of foreigners interested in the Korean language has increased dramatically over the past few years because of the success of Korean firms overseas and growing interest in Korean culture. Places as unique and diverse as the wilds of East Africa's Serengeti, the pyramids of Egypt, and the Great Barrier Reef in Australia make up our world's heritage. The public's dissatisfaction with the public school system has led to an increase in the number of children being educated at home. The crucial factor in choosing literary works for foreign language learning is not just to select the appropriate level of language, but to find works that stimulate the reader's involvement. A clear understanding of what your purpose is in life leads you to do whatever is necessary to achieve it. The idea of achieving security through national armament is, at the present state of military technique, a disastrous illusion. Feelings and judgments about how others feel toward you play a major role in how you choose to solve your day-to-day -day problems. One major difference between people with a low level of self-respect and those with a high level is the type of memories they choose to recall. In many parts of the world, speakers in bilingual communities have abandoned their native language in favor of their second language, which often results in the death of the native language as an effective means of communication. This process of language death is a worldwide phenomenon affecting different types of communities. In some cases, native peoples abandon their native language after being subjected to invasion, conquest, and subsequent control by an overwhelming power. For example, many Native American societies throughout North and South America have stopped speaking their own languages and have replaced them with the dominant national language in their countries. There are many valid reasons for wanting to unify a country or region under one dominant language, including ease of communication and strengthened group identity. Replacement of native languages by dominant languages is usually a gradual process, but once replacement is complete, the native language disappears from the human scene the classic case of language death. The prime factor to be considered in education is the child and his present nature as a child, as nature wants children to be children before they are men. One way to help keep life's slings and arrows from knocking you off course is to ensure your life is multidimensional, and that way, a setback in any one area won't mean in your mind that you're a failure categorically. In a natural night sky, someone looking at the heavens with the unaided eye should be able to see nearly 3,500 stars and planets and the glow from the Milky Way, our home galaxy. Fitness programs based on walking or jogging have the same beneficial health effects as machine-based exercise regimens do. Since the human body is basically an extremely complex system of interacting molecules, the technology required to truly understand and repair the body is molecular machine technology. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. The members of a herd of cattle or a school of fish seeking to minimize the opportunities for predators will gather themselves into a circular group to minimize the surface that the predator can attack. Huge quantities of carbon dioxide, methane, and CFCs dumped in the atmosphere have trapped heat and raised global temperatures. 
Consumer innovators rarely work alone, but they thrive in communities that freely share open source designs. John Dobson, for example, never patented the cheap digital telescope he created, paving the way for a renaissance in amateur astronomy. Organizations built on knowledgeable and committed communities of users often find that good ideas come from the membership base who will also provide rapid feedback on whether a new service will work. For innovation to be less challenging, the link connecting the company and the community, the producer and the user, should be tighter. If companies want to engage their consumers as innovators, they too will have to open up so their consumers can freely share ideas and modify their products. The topics that people find amusing and the occasions that are regarded as appropriate for joking can vary enormously from one society to the next. In India, Sleeping habits which contribute to the spread of malaria include not using mosquito nets or any protective device, outdoor sleeping, and children sharing a bed. Those who regularly keep a journal or some kind of written record pertaining to their aspirations are more likely to feel that they are making progress in their lives. Teams in the workplace that are composed of people with different personalities are more productive than teams composed of more similar individuals. All of the women whom I have interviewed, whose mothers worked, knew that they too would work when they had children. Those moments when you took a leap of faith and expanded beyond your comfort zone are precious gifts as they can remind you of the joy that is available to you when you live life with enthusiasm. The best equipment a young man can have for the battle of life is a conscience, common sense, and good health. The main reason eggs crack when they're in boiling water is the difference between the temperatures of the hot water and the cool egg. Many who have experienced a major loss often go on to achieve remarkable feats in spite of their hardships, because they focus on what they can gain from their circumstance rather than on what they have lost. For your success and happiness, the most important contribution you can make is to develop the habit of continuous goal-setting. Political stability has an influence on international forms of tourism. One prime reason international tourism in Europe has developed so strongly since 1945 has been the almost total absence of major political and military conflict in the region since the end of the Second World War. The one significant divide that did arise from that war The division between a largely communist Eastern Europe and a capitalist West actually produced a clear boundary in the geography of tourism. There was rapid development in the West and relatively little international travel in the East. As soon as communist control of East European states began to collapse, tourism both to and from these areas followed. Is it socially desirable or acceptable to change certain genes of a normal human individual to alter or enhance traits? Millions buy a lottery ticket and imagine what it would be like for their money problems to be over once and for all. It would be all wrong for a scientist to get emotional when describing a daffodil. And it would be all wrong for a poet not to. For adults, it may be difficult learning not to interfere with, but rather to support a child's desire for freedom and autonomy. It is paradoxical that many educators and parents still differentiate between a time for learning and a time for play without seeing the vital connection between them. 
When we are under stress, it's important whether we reach for the bag of potato chips or go for a swim or a jog. It cannot be denied that we owe many useful things to science, but it is doubtful whether more science will give us true happiness. On the train of life, which keeps proceeding incessantly, if the train is not heading where you want to go, it matters little how fast it is going. It can be argued that the clock was the first truly automatic machine that attained any importance in human life. It is a fundamental mistake to imagine that when we see the non value in a value, or the untruth in a truth, the value or the truth ceases to exist. It has only become relative. Philosophers have long challenged the assumptions of common sense realism, the theory that the world is perceived exactly as it is, and tried to come up with more robust pictures of reality. They argue, for instance, that the senses are easily fooled. For example, a fast spinning wheel can look stationary. Moreover, they question how we can be certain that the waking world is any more real than the fantasy world created in our dreams. It's a difficult problem which philosophers have yet to resolve. However, for everyday practical life, it makes sense to go with the common sense view. In fact, I live as if the evidence of my experience and my sense is true, and I find it almost impossible to think and live any other way, because that's the way my mind works. The invention of the microscope made it possible for scientists to learn more about what causes diseases. If you don't relate what you know to what you read, you may find it difficult to understand what you read. Traditionally, Jews made it a rule not to name a newborn child after a living person, in case untimely transmission of the name soul should bring death to the elder. You may find it worth considering negotiating with your company to find the ideal balance between work and personal time. In our country, workers took it for granted that they would remain with one company until they reached retirement age. Market forces will see to it that employers pay a reasonable salary, not a minimum wage. The argument has it that schools are not merely teaching places, but also institutions in which character is built. We owe it to ourselves and to the next generation to conserve the environment so that we can bequeath our children a sustainable world that benefits all. The power of the mental game came to public awareness in the 1970s through the revelations of some of the nation's most notable sports figures. Golfer Jack Nicklaus, for example, let it be known that he never hit a shot without first clearly visualizing the ball's perfect flight and its triumphant destination sitting up there high and white and pretty on the green. A successful shot, Nicklaus told us, was 50% visualization, 40% setup, and only 10% swing. Professional football players described imagining each of their plays again and again the night before a game. They found it natural that their success on the field the next day was closely related to the vividness of their mental practice. More than any other development, it has been the exceptionally rapid growth of computer technology that has changed every aspect of our lives. It is generally the idle who complain they cannot find time to do what they wish to do. In truth, people can generally find time enough for their work. It is not the time, but the will that is wanting. It was patterns in the organized and regular motions of stars and other celestial objects that ancient humans tried to recognize, just as present-day scientists 
search for patterns and trends in natural phenomena. It was not until the mid 18th century in England that agricultural improvements made it possible for more food to be grown to meet the demands of a growing population. Thomas Edison was looked upon as a fool by his teachers, and it was only because his mother inspired him to believe that one day he would do something fine and great that he became the man he was. Was it the evolution of life on Earth that marked the first instance of life anywhere in our universe? Or could it have developed on other planets long before? What is it that motivates us to get up every morning and do the job we have chosen for a career? A glance at the map is sufficient to explain how it was that Greece became civilized before the other European lands. It is only the rise of technology and not the rise of modern political ideas which has refuted the old and terrible idea that only violence and rule over others could make some men free. It is the trees that draw the most moisture and nutrients from the air that maximize their surface area with large leaves. In most Western cultures, messages usually concern ideas presented in a logical, linear sequence. The speaker tries to say what is meant through precise wording, and the content of the language is more objective than personal. This communication style is termed low context because the actual words are more important than who is receiving the message, how the words are said, or the nonverbal actions that accompany them. On the other hand, in cultures with an opposing communication style, it is in the context, not in the words, that most of the meaning of a message is found. The content of the language is more personal than objective, dependent on the relationship between speaker and listener. Attitudes and feelings are more important in the conversation than thoughts. To watch a play is to step into a world that seems far removed from electronic beeping and ringing. Being able to forgive, to let go of angry thoughts and feelings, promotes the body's natural ability to return from an aroused state to a normal state. Resilience is accepting your new reality, even if it's less good than the one you had before. You can fight it. You can do nothing but scream about what you've lost, or you can accept that and try to put together something that's good. By continuously investing in ourselves, we expect to become more productive and to gain a higher income and better professional opportunities. To stop being late, all one has to do is change the motivation by deciding that, in all circumstances, being on time is going to have first priority over any other consideration. Happy is the person who knows what to remember of the past, what to enjoy in the present, and what to plan for in the future. We spend a lot of time in teaching children how to read, less in teaching them how to speak, and hardly any in teaching them how to listen. But the importance of these skills in business is essentially reversed. The past few years have seen a lot of debate about how to spread democracy, but almost none about how to keep it alive in places where it is under attack. Making the decision on whether or not to study abroad should be taken with care. When a client seeks information regarding the direction he or she should take, like what choice to make or what approach to use, there is ever present a strong temptation on the counselor's part to tell him or her what to do, particularly if the counselor feels that she or he knows the best answer to the client's problems. Proceeding with the consultation like this generally should be avoided, however, 
as the client will gain strength if allowed to make his or her own judgments. Certainly, one of the most important goals of counseling is to enable clients to make better decisions, and part of this process may require that the counselor become an active agent in the decision-making process. But to answer a client's decision-oriented question with a specific answer diminishes significantly the possibility that the client will grow enough to make decisions. The counselor's objective is to aid the client in taking the initiative in making his or her own decisions, not to give direct answers. We need more effective ways to ensure that every citizen can fully exercise the right to secure private information. The scents of plants or fruits can serve various purposes. Lavender can fill you with feelings of tranquility. And peppermint is one of the best scents to improve concentration and memory. If you are unsure of what you want to accomplish, it can be easy to fall into the trap of pursuing the goals of others, which can interfere with your effort to make smart decisions and accomplish what you want in life. Some cultures maintain an implicit schedule for the right time to do many important things. For example, the right time to start dating, to finish college, to buy your own home, or to have a child. The modern notion of equality is based on a rather complex idea. All of us, across class, gender, or cultural difference, have in principle the capacity to reflect upon our own thoughts and actions and to guide and determine our own lives. The ability to maintain some flexibility in both your ideas and your habits will decrease your inclination to disagree and increase your ability to compromise and move toward a solution. God, give us grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things that should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. Age appears to be best in four things. Old wood best to burn, old wine to drink, old friends to trust, and old authors to read. At the center of Niccolò Machiavelli's political philosophy is the Renaissance idea of viewing human society in human terms. To achieve this, his starting point is an analysis of human nature based on his observations of human behavior throughout history, which brings him to the conclusion that the majority of people are by nature selfish, short-sighted, fickle, and easily deceived. However, the original fundamental character of human nature, with its complete lack of virtue, can be turned to the common good, such as the tendency to imitate rather than think as individuals, which, Machiavelli notes, leads people to follow a leader's example and act cooperatively. Likewise, qualities such as selfishness, manifested in the human desire for personal gain and ambition, can be a powerful driving force if channeled correctly, and are especially useful personal qualities in a ruler. Knowledge gained through workplace experience is far more important than grades earned in school in predicting the job performance of new employees. English is the first or official language of 45 countries covering one-fifth of the Earth's land surface. Reading is an incredibly complex psycholinguistic activity involving not only phonemic awareness and alphabet recognition, but also comprehension in all its facets, reading between the lines, inferring meaning, and detecting the author's bias. The amount of energy used to cool America may be equal to all the energy consumed in China today. Since the 1960s, animal rights organizations around the world have tried to make people aware of the cruelty affecting animals used for laboratory research. 
In an interactive, real-time strategy video game set in the 26th century, in a universe inspired by science fiction novels and movies, hundreds of thousands of players spend up to 80 hours a week fighting interspecies battles for dominance and survival. We keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things, because we're curious, and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. Despite the best efforts of scientists and philosophers, the structure of space-time remains hidden to us even today. The sense of sight is so highly developed in humans that messages received from other senses are often ignored if they conflict with what is seen. By its domination of the time families spend together, a television destroys the special quality distinguishing one family's rituals, games, recurrent jokes, familiar songs, and shared activities from another's. Bluebird syndrome is the name given to the experience of being unable or unwilling to adjust to changes in one's workplace or community. The name comes from the play The Blue Bird, which was written more than 100 years ago by the Belgian playwright and poet Maurice Metterlink. Metterlink believed that people are powerless against the forces of fate, and this belief is reflected by the characters in his play. People with Bluebird Syndrome are not satisfied with their life and may dream about a splendid future waiting for them, but do not put any effort into trying to create that future. There is no denying that society is changing so fast, yet the basic rules of the world remain the same. I cannot help fearing that men may reach a point where they look on every new theory as a danger every innovation as a toilsome trouble, every social advance as a first step toward revolution, and that they may absolutely refuse to move at all. Psychologists tell us that it's perfectly natural to feel like running away from our responsibilities once in a while. In deciding on your future career, it is no use concentrating on those areas in which you have achieved your best scores unless you are interested in them. It goes without saying that preparation is the key to any negotiation, and it is no surprise to find that the most successful negotiators prepare more than unsuccessful negotiators. By focusing on remedies and solutions to the problems that arise, you can keep your attention on what you can do in any situation instead of on what you can't. On being able to see, infants recognize faces, and it might be possible that this skill is hardwired in our brains. When you stand on a bathroom scale, the scale measures just how much upward force it must exert on you in order to keep you from moving downward toward the Earth's center. People with a low level of self-respect usually think over negative experiences, while people with a high level spend their time in recalling and enjoying positive memories. If you were slow-witted, you would have little or no difficulty in making a decision for you wouldn't be able to think of a variety of possible consequences. It goes without saying that any estimate of a modern novel is valueless unless it is based on knowledge of the great works of the past. But at the same time, it is no use estimating the great works of the past unless it is based on knowledge of the novels of the present. In fact, all literary work, both of the past and of today, exists as if it were in an eternal present. We speak of the tradition of the novel, but tradition is not a dead thing. The classics are not just so many books behind the glass of a Victorian bookcase. Tradition is a living force that changes as it takes in more and more works of the present. When it is dry, 
the cactus contracts like an accordion to minimize the surface area exposed to the sun and retain as much water as possible. For students to be truly successful in today's challenging global economy, higher education must recognize and emphasize that practical and liberal education are tightly coupled, and that students' academic, developmental, interpersonal, and experiential lives are entwined. When we learn to say no to what we don't feel like doing in order to say yes to our true self, we feel empowered and our relationships with others improve. Children need many opportunities to freely express and represent their ideas without fear of evaluation, ridicule, or comparison in order for them to be creative. Every adult should engage in half an hour of moderate physical activity at least five days per week so as to remain active and healthy according to national health guidelines. We hope our children will learn to behave morally and ethically and grow up to be honest and considerate. Every year, millions of young people finish school feeling full of confidence and arrive in the workplace only to find out how much they don't know. I have seen people who are very good at their jobs, but are poor at presenting themselves, never to convince the audience of their capabilities.